Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Comic Corner here. It's episode 5. Ty Rob, this is Dom. Hey. What you been up to, dude? <laughs> I think we're both tired. We're so tired right now. It's been a, it's been an interesting week so far. Uh, it's opening night for Guardians at uh, the Coyote Drive-In, where we work. And it's just going to be, hopefully, hopefully it's just busy as hell. <laughs> we don't need another wash weekend here. Yeah. Um... Man, I've just been reading some comics lately. I, I started the first volume of Saga, finished that one. Uh, I really enjoy it. It's by Image Comics. Oh, so you've um, been reading Saga? How, so you? I read it? the first volume. I it was really great. I was gonna like loan it to you one of these days. I read days. the first one. Oh, you did already. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you like it? It was alright. I'm not a big fan of it. I oh, heard okay. it's like a Rom- Romeo and Juliet story. Regardless, I thought it was decent writing. So it was pretty good. I like the fact that like uh, their daughter is kind of telling the story of her parents Mm -hmm. so and how she like they got her to a place where she could live safely so that was interesting i can picture as an hbo game of thrones kind of show absolutely yeah um let's see what else Uh, i started reading this comic called redneck about some vampires in texas um it's interesting i am like three pages in and i had to stop because i had other things to take care of (laughs) but uh yeah that that's an interesting concept and i'm you know, looking forward to starting that series because it's the first issue. So, um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I did start this one called Eclipse. I finished the first volume of this uh, comic by I think it's I don't even know if it's by Image or not. I think it is. Image Comics is Eclipse, and it's about like a post-apocalyptic future where um, all of a sudden one day the sun just becomes like super hot and it breaks through our atmosphere. Because of like like twenty four uh, how do you say uh, solar flares, they hit the planet all at once, breaking down like all the protectiveness that the planet naturally generates. Yeah. Uh, so the heat of the sun literally can melt people's skin just by like you know contact, like completely just almost start like vaporizing people, right? So yeah. yeah. Um, the New York firefighters, this takes place in New York too, and the, the firefighters in New York are now called Icemen. Instead of firefighters, they're called Icemen. They wear these Icemen suits, right? They're like protective suits, almost like space suits that they can like walk out during the day and do like maintenance and stuff on buildings because the rest of the citizens that are like alive, like that we know of so far, are living down in the tunnels of the subway, the New York subway. So, kind of like a 2033 kind of scenario, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but instead of like a next ice age, it's more of like a, you know, just crazy sun thing happening. And I don't want to spoil it too much, but there's there's some crazy shit that happens. Like, after you get over like the initial, like, I mean, it kind of jumps right in and it's this guy's first comic too. So, it's pretty cool that like, you know, he got his stuff published. And his story is pretty interesting because he said, you know, he was like, oh, I was basically working a dead end job and I just decided to take some night classes and start illustrating. And, you know, I took an English class and That's legit. put this together and it's been eight years and I got it finally published and everything. And thanks to Image and it's cool, uh, dude. yeah, so I liked it a lot. I enjoyed it. Um, it's pretty creepy, uh, especially the fact that there's this one guy who they're trying to find who can walk out in the sunlight like he's like mutated like adapted almost to mm-hmm. it and they don't know if there's others like him and, and he's like on some like like religious like conquest to like kill people like and you know and he writes scripture down and stuff in their blood and then drags them out into the sun it's this is the, <coughs> the eclipse comic yeah okay it's i like it a lot it's pretty cool um so that's all you've been reading this week um, no, I'm which like what? Which one would you like to make like your profound? Like this is what I enjoyed reading this week. Like, what's your number one comic that you read this gosh, week? Gosh, I'd say I see probably the Eclipse one is what I enjoyed the most this week. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, I plan on starting American Gods. Uh, they're like two issues in, I believe. I just watched the first episode on HBO or whatever kind of Cinemax, whatever. Mm-hmm. I believe it's HBO. Okay, but. Enjoyed that. It was really cool. It's based on a novel, you know. Um, very bloody. Very bloody, very intense. That's what I like. Um, it's definitely got... It's cool because it's like it takes place with like the old gods of like all these different like, you know, 
kind of paganistic religions and like you know like the vikings and stuff like their gods are fighting against like the new gods and so it's setting up for like this kind of like war between like new gods and old gods yeah yeah. and this guy his name's shadow moon uh he was in jail and he gets out he's his name's shadow moon because his mom was a hippie so his mom you know like moon shadow shadow moon okay anyway it explains it in in the thing yeah so he tries to like you know not go back to prison by like you know going straight and stuff like that he gets out he fight, he literally talked to his wife like the day before he was getting out he gets pulled like you know by like the warden and they're like hey you know uh, we got we got something to tell you we're really sorry about this but your wife died in a car accident hmm. and he's like Are you, you know like that's what he was waiting to get out to see his wife you know so like he's just like in total shock he tries to get home they delay his flight because his flight is set for like three days later. They say, "Well, you can't. You have to pay like two hundred extra dollars." So he says, "Screw it." This is present time. Yeah, present time. So he says, "Screw it." He gets on the plane. Like the next day, he meets Mister Wednesday. Mister Wednesday is supposed to be, I'm pretty sure, like. Wait, isn't Viking this a topic God. for? Isn't this a topic for the morning game workshop? Uh, I guess we can do that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll cut it from right there. All right. That way, you don't get too far into it. Yeah. Sounds very interesting. Um. So your big your big comic for the week though is Eclipse. Eclipse, absolutely. Uh, who's the author? Oh god, I can't. All right, let's search it up. Nick, who's the author? Yeah, dude. Um, send me the link on the uh, the pad over here. All right, there we go. Stories by Zach Zaplin. Art is by Giovanni Timpano. Mm-hmm. Image Comics. Yep. Nice, dude. Oh yeah, I remember you sent me that picture. Yep. Cool, cool, awesome. All right, so what I've been reading is my favorite, not favorite, but I've been getting really into the whole Brie Larson becoming Captain Marvel. I think it's the best idea. You don't think so? Um, Topic for another discussion. That's a topic of a whole other discussion. So I've been reading The Mighty Captain Marvel. I got issue number zero, and I got issue number one, which is part of the new Marvel Now series, which is like the whole reboot and everything Mm -hmm. like that. Um, I've... Only read a little bit of <coughs> issue zero, so I can't really say much there, but it's more so of her uh, fighting with the fact, and this obviously takes place after the Secret Wars and everything like that happened, mm-hmm. so I don't have the knowledge of that in my head, but it kind of goes on into the fact that she struggles with Tony Stark uh, haunting her in her dreams, and I guess something happened between her and him, or like him dying and she was close to him in some way. Mm. I don't know. So that's what it's, it, that's what it appears as if the the story's gonna go and where it's gonna be. Quick note: I'm reading Miss America, and Captain Marvel is on the team with Miss America. I think she was part of like the New Avengers or whatever. Hmm. I wonder if the because it's comic was just started this year as well, so I wonder if they're like if make she'll make somewhere. like a cameo somewhere in the comic. Well, it open well. So the real quick one thing that I have to say. I don't like Marvel comics at all. And the reason why... And I love superheroes. Because the universe is so just convoluted? No, not that. I can deal with that. The freaking <clears throat> amount of ads that they have on these things, dude. It is yeah. unbearable. Like, I pick up... I pick up a... a what you call it? A comic from Image. Mm-hmm. On, like, I'm reading Paper Girls or whatever. There's not one single... No, I love um, it. Add in it, and this one's just all their ads are at the end, and they're for their own comics, which is even better. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so this just self promote for themselves. So, I don't know, that's one thing I don't like. So, it opens up, and they're playing a game, a card game. It's Captain Marvel, it's Spider Woman, it's Miss Marvel, Thor, and Black Widow, and this cat, which I don't think is an actual cat. I think the reason why, okay, so in my comics, Miss America is goes off to college, so that's probably why she's not with them. Because she's friends with all those girls. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I've been reading it a little bit. It seems interesting. I'm not going to give you 100% as to what What's kind of the are. dynamic of her character? Is she, like, what is she, what is she like? Well, the thing is that they talk about where she, she, she has a dream, and then she wakes up, and she's in some sort of place. I guess she was some sort of therapist. Mm-hmm. I know, like, people who are into comics are probably going to be just dogging on me in the, in the comments below. But... So she's like with some sort of therapist. Our top commenter, Spider Man, rip rip Robert apart. Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> um, so 
the thing is, so the thing is that she knows that she's the most powerful being in the universe, and that they even make that known that you're the most powerful <clears throat> hero of all time. And if you don't get these emotions uh, in check, you very well can become a very big threat. And so she's the most powerful being of all time in the universe. That's what it says. What? That's so contradicting to like. Oh. Maybe as a superhero. Well, I guess now technically, but I was just thinking like. I mean, in that moment, in everyone Legion, died. In Legion, like that was like their big dilemma is because he was so unstable, but he had so much power. He's like the most powerful like yes. being. But the thing is that this takes place right after Secret Wars, and yeah. after everything imploded on no, itself. No, no, yeah, he's already those gone. Are the he's, ones left. he's dead. Yeah, yeah, so. so I get that now, left. but yeah. Yeah. I guess that's what they're trying to say. Yeah. Just the comments, let me know down below just how stupid I am. Marvel. I don't know. Freaking but, um, yeah, dude, I know. It's going to be, it's going to be whatever it is. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm in, uh, I love Captain Marvel's character, even though I don't know much about her. Yeah. I love her character and I'm wanting to get to know her more. That's why I picked up these comics. So I'm going to start getting into that. Um, that's honestly all I've read. I mean, I didn't know Captain Marvel and Miss Marvel were totally different yeah I thought like Miss Marvel was taking over I love Miss Marvel, Marvel dude. I, got, I have the first volume of it I haven't read any more past that oh okay you haven't okay so I was gonna get you like the sec. I was gonna get you like the second volume the other day, but that's I was, so like, random but I was like well I was in the comic shop and I was like Miss Marvel I was like you know f- I was like he'd like that if I got that for him and I was <laughs> like it's probably only a couple bucks cause it's older and I was like nah he's probably already read it no yeah I, got, I had the first one the first one fantastic um Miss Marvel, one of my, another favorite character of mine, even though she is not only part of the newer ones. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's hard for me. To, I'm trying to get, this is the first like Marvel comic that I'm really digging into. Like I have a bunch of other Marvel comics mm-hmm. at home, like old original Iron Man comics from long ago that I got at Comic Cons. But this is like, I want to get into the series and it's just so hard because I'm like, how do all these other, how does Spider-Woman and Black Widow and Miss Marvel and Thor, how do they all fit into this picture? It's like, whatever, just just go and just everything will probably fall into place later. Bro, I can't even wait to like share with you when my dad sends me his like comics, right? Because he said he was going to, yeah. right? Because he's like, oh, you're the only one that's showing interest in him out of all the kids. And I was like, yeah, great, send them to me. <laughs> and he's got like some of like the old school original yes, Spawn dude. comics from like dude, freaking Image. My uncle has those kind oh. of too. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited to see those. Yeah, my uncle, uh, he has like a whole tub filled of them. And he has like issues, but like a bunch of variant issues. And he has some very rare variant issues of like some Spider-Man comics where it's like, it's just so beautiful, dude. Um, but yeah, guys, so this is being filmed on the 5th. By the time this comes out, the 6th would have already happened. So, Happy if you got... Mile. Well, not only, not only that, but <laughs> if you guys already went to Free Comic Book Day, leave down in the comments below what kind of comics y'all scored. Pretty sure it's the same everywhere, but just I let mean, us know. I don't know. I think some comics maybe like I thought some some comic book shops throw in variants. Like they just throw their own, like you know. The, oh, like they put their own out there. Yeah, like one or two of their own comics that they want to like. Interesting. Give out. I thought the ones that are only for Free Comic Book Day are the ones that have like a little like picture on the top of the comic that says Free Comic Book Day on it. No. Sh- yeah, all of them are like that. Huh. Or something like... I could be totally wrong. That, I mean, where I've been to, that's all I've seen. Yeah. It, it, I haven't been to Free Comic Book Day since I was like 12 years old in Seattle, like at the Pike Market. Yeah, dude. Long time ago. So, once this video comes out, <coughs> Free Comic Book Day already happened. So, let us know in the comments below what you guys scored on your day trip to go hunt down a lot of comics. I for sure will be waking up early to go do that. I don't know if you will. I will. We will totally be doing that. The only problem is, I think my comic shop, my local comic shop, doesn't open up till eleven. So mine doesn't either. Okay. And so, so I'm gonna feel like, boop, boop. I'm gonna be there like ten thirty, like outside the door, like a freak. <laughs> like, what I want those comics. Right. Um, Swear to me. But yeah, guys, thanks for joining us here on Comic Corner episode five. It's I Rob. This is Dom. Leave your all's questions and just different things you want to tell us down in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and. Share with your friends. Push that thumbs up button. We always enjoy it. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out. Stay Keep beautiful. Working. Keep running this. Yeah, stay beautiful. Keep reading those comics, boys.